So how do you record your screen and your face at the same time? Well, by the end of this video, I'll share with you step by step exactly how to do that with a super cool tool that simplifies the process. Let's go. All right, so in order for you to screen record, you're gonna need a screen recording software. So the software we're gonna be using today is called Descript. So Descript is an AI video editor that can take care of all of your video editing needs on top of your screen recording needs, and I'm gonna show you how simple it is. And you can get access to Descript by clicking the link down below in the description, literally the first link, all right? If you truly see value in being able to use this tool. All right, so let's get started. All right, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna go right up here to where it's says new project once you get access to Descript. Once you do that, you then want to go to video project. All right, so now we got this loaded. So now once we get here, it's very, very simple. You want to go here to where it says record. Okay, so you might have noticed that this just popped up right here, right? So we got me on this and we got me on this, right? So I'm using the same camera, so hopefully it don't conflict like with the recording or whatever and slow it down, but I'm going to try to make this work for you. Okay, so once you get here, you then want to choose. You either want to do an audio only, which you probably don't want to do because you're watching this video you can click on the camera which you can see the camera here but you probably want the screen right so now this is what it's going to look like when you're recording on your screen and don't worry about the placement right now because you can actually edit it and move that around and you're going to see how cool it is all right all right so this is me over here recording with another software so i can show you how this works now once you got this over here the next step is you need to choose your mic and the camera you're going to use so you want to go right here to where it says, you know, camera options. So I'm gonna click on this and then I'm gonna choose my camera. So I already got it on the camera that I'm using. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that how it is. But then you wanna come down here to where your mic is and then you wanna choose your mic, all right? So just choose the one that you want. I'm using this particular mic. And then there is another option that I wanna show you real quick. So I'm gonna slide this over. So you see right here, it says speaker. So it says studio sound. So studio sound is a way that you can make your audio sound better. I personally don't use it because once I bring my stuff inside of Descript, it's already edited, right? So it's pretty good. Now you can try it out for yourself just to see, you know, if it's going to be beneficial to you. But me personally, I tend to not use it. So right here it says transcribe. That means it's going to transcribe every single thing that you said in the video, which is super, super powerful. All right. So now let's roll this back over here like this. All right, so now we're going to get into, let me go ahead and hit this X. So now I'm about to hit the record button and I'm going to just make like a, I'm going to just say some fake stuff here in the video and then I'm going to try to transition to explain to you what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit record into script and then you see it says drag to record part of the screen. We don't want part of the screen. So all you want to do is just hit space bar and you can see it's counting down, right? Give it a few seconds. All right, so you see how that just went down, right? So keep in mind, although you don't see your video here, it's still there, all right? Don't, don't, you don't even have to worry about it because once you actually hit stop, you're gonna see everything exactly how you want and we're gonna be able to edit it. All right, so I'm gonna go through the process as if I'm showing people this. All right, so today we're talking about morning fame, all right? You can see it shows your subscribers here, your views here, likes, comments, etc. Uh, we got our title, we got our description, and blase, blase, blase. Now at this point, I'm looking back at the camera. So I'm gonna share with you a quick tip. So anytime that you're doing any screen recording and you're talking to the camera, one of the things that you can do to make like a smooth transition, when you talk to the camera, make your, your uh, webcam go big. But then when you're looking back down at the screen, like how I'm looking at the screen right now, you can transition the screen record back to the screen and just have you in the corner. So that way you have like a pretty smooth transition. I'm gonna show you real quick once I actually hit stop. All right, so let's go back to Descript real quick and I'm gonna hit stop. All right, so you, you see it, it pretty much transcribed everything that I said in the video, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually show you how to make those transitions. So if we come over here and I click on this, you see it's turned purple, right? But if I click on this, you see it also can turn purple, which means I can move this anywhere that I want it. So if I don't want it in the corner over there, I can put it up at the top or anywhere I would like. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back down in this left corner. Okay, so we can leave it there. Another thing I can do is I can make it big or small. So if I want to take up the whole screen for a part that I was talking and I might do that a little bit later at the point where I was trying to talk about like making it big and then making it small. So that way there's a transition. I'm going to actually do that. So let me go ahead and hit undo. Okay. So now let me try to find a spot where I'm looking at the screen talking and then me transitioning down to 
uh, the screen. So let's let's see. So it says, I'm looking back at the camera, so I'm going to share with you a quick tip. So anytime you're doing your screen recording, you're talking to the camera, one of the things you can do to make it like a smooth transition is you can actually, when you talk to the camera, make your webcam go big, but then when you're looking down at the screen, okay, so right there, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put a slash in front of that But All right, now what this is gonna allow me to do is it's gonna create a scene. Now that scene is gonna be a separator from the webcam screen and me going big, all right? So let me show you how that works. So right here, I think I'm looking at the camera. Make your your uh, webcam go big, but then when you're looking back down at the screen, like how I'm looking at the screen. Okay, so right there. So right at that point, I will click inside of this because this just became its own scene. And then I will click back on this and then I will make it big. All right, so hold on, let me make sure I'm doing that right. No, 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 I did it wrong, I did it wrong, sorry. All right, so now let's go back to before when I was talking. All right, so I'm gonna put, create a scene here. I'm gonna make this part big. All right, so that way I'm looking at the camera and then once it gets to here, then I want it to go back to that, right? So let me kind of uh, start it somewhere like right here and then we're gonna see how it rolls. Make your, your uh, webcam go big, but then when you're looking- All right, so you see how it transitioned, right? So it was pretty much, it was me looking at the camera and then at the moment that I actually looked down, I transitioned it. Let me show you one more time. Talk to the camera, make your, your uh, webcam go big. But then when you look- And then you see I'm still in the same place, no movements. Now I'm just in the corner and then I can con continue showing people what it is that I'm showing them. So I just want to show you that little tip because that is helpful and it does make your video a lot more engaging because a person's eyes resets, right? So you go from big screen to small screen, big screen to small screen. Now obviously you want to be a little bit careful. You don't want to keep doing it like on and off, on and off, on and off, but there is some value in doing it every once in a while to kind of you know change up the pace so now let's imagine that you want to actually export the video file well how do you do that well the first thing you want to do is you want to go right up here to the file button you then want to go right here to where it says export click on that now over here you can see you got options right so it says resolution max right so as you can see I got 1080p I always leave this on high I then go down here to where it says export boom go ahead and type in what you want to save it as and then you just go ahead and hit enter or you just go ahead and hit save and then you're going to be good to go.